Yes. Yeah. On the surface, Kill Your Darlings is it's a biographical film, but at the heart of it, it's really a love story, isn't it? It's a love story and a story of an artist finding their own voice and coming into their own. Yeah, and you know, uh, one of my favorite artists in the world, and the chance to be able to tell that story was both incredibly terrifying and exhilarating. Can you tell me a little bit more about your inspirations for the movie? Yeah, my best friend, who was my college roommate, Austin Bunn, came to me about 10 years ago with the eye of do idea of doing this. And so we started writing it together. I had never heard the story of murder before. I had no idea that the story existed, and I don't think most people do. But this murder is the thing that caused Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, and William Burroughs to stop being college students talking about doing something important with their lives, and the thing that started them on their path to revolution. And it was in looking at Allen Ginsberg's life and seeing how he changed from being this dutiful son who the world only saw one side of, to by the end of the movie being a rebel, a poet, to getting kicked out of Columbia and going off and creating his own path. That's a story that, with, as a young artist myself, resonated with me and a story I wanted to share with other people. So how much yeah. research did you do? Oh, tons, extensive. Everything from the biographies to going to the Ginsburg Archives at Stanford University to maybe even breaking into Jack Kerouac's old apartment to find that there were Columbia students living there who had no idea they were living in Jack Kerouac's apartments. That is crazy. Um, but it was cool because we got to go into all the locations in New York where the murder took place, where they lived when they were college students, and then we got the chance to film there. So you have to talk about the cast. I mean, you have Daniel Radcliffe, Dane. Dutton. This cast is like I won the lottery and then I used a dollar from that lottery ticket to win another lottery. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I literally got the dream cast that I wanted when I put down on paper who I wanted in this movie, and it's I'm I'm still just overwhelmed and stunned by the fact that they wanted to work with me on my first film. Well, congratulations. Thank you. What can we um, expect from this movie? You know, to me, really, at its heart, it's a story of being 19 years old and wanting to do something different and unique and special with your life and wanting to change the world. And, you know, the cool thing is after these movies, these guys actually did. And so I want audiences to take that away, the idea that the world is still theirs. You know, some people have seen this movie came up to me and said, this movie makes me want to write again. This movie makes me want to, like, start drawing again to do something personal and important. And if this movie has that effect on the world, I'll feel like I did an incredible job and that's, excuse me, that it's a success. <laughs>